Listen, Costco, you have the makings of a good design here. You're very close, I promise. You just need a little nudge in the right direction. I feel like my biggest problem with this particular page is that you've managed to make a lot of your features feel like they don't belong. For instance, the spacing around your search bar appears to be different on each side. By default, you hide your quick actions in a drawer. By doing this, you are literally saying to me, these items don't fit here normally, but we're going to stuff them in here anyways. Additionally, you gave this one a label that shifts the icon out of alignment with the rest of them. I don't know why you thought red, capitalized, bold text would entice me to click on this promotion, but I honestly find it a bit off-putting. I'm actually going to put on my marketing cap for two seconds and say that calling your promotion spend and get, and then putting it next to this text reads spend and get extended, which again is immediately off-putting. But we'll save that for my next YouTube channel. Washington DC is in fact a long city name that I randomly chose to plug in, but the fact that this text runs straight into the delivery location text just feels like plain laziness. Not to mention this combination of font thickness, icons, spacing, and color makes this entire section feel extraordinarily random. Moving on. I appreciate your welcome sign. That's very nice of you. But I'm not on your homepage, nor am I at the top of your page. This just feels out of place. Your menu here is fine. There's not a whole lot of ways to get around listing out your available options, but I'm telling you, I'm going to show you the slightest adjustment that's going to make this entire section look significantly better. Okay, last but not least, we land on your bottom navbar. Not a lot of changes need to be made here from a visual standpoint, but I do believe that your shopping cart button deserves priority over some of these other options, so we'll have to rework a few things to make that happen. Let's start from the top. The only branding you've got is this Costco.com placeholder in your search bar, and I suppose the Costco C down here, so I think we should start there. Let's put your logo in this corner, and to make that work, we'll change the background color to white. We're going to eventually move your shopping cart button to the bottom bar, but for now, we'll just cut it out. I like the way Amazon has a thin little location selector below their top nav, so I think we can simultaneously clean up this section and reduce some vertical space by converting it to something similar. I really think search should come next. And since all of these are various search options, I think we can consolidate to clean them up a bit. Let's start with a basic search input, light gray borders, slight rounding on the corner, and a standard search icon. Clicking shop reveals a list of search categories, so I think it would be obvious enough to just put this icon on the left side of the search bar. These extra options could probably fit somewhere within this layout, but I kind of prefer the idea that they'd appear when I click search, or perhaps they'd exist here as well. I get the concept of a quick reveal menu, but I just don't know if I agree with the execution here. I honestly don't think it's even necessary to hide them. I notice that these two options both take you to what appears to be the exact same screen. I think we can take this opportunity to fix two problems. The first being this label shifting the icon up, and the second being that we still need to find space for the shopping cart icon on the bottom bar. What if we move the savings feature to the quick options, and while we're at it, this warehouse option could be merged with a location selector, opening up even more space. So now we've got some room for the shopping cart, and we might as well space the icons a bit more. Okay, since I haven't invented my marketing channel yet, I'm just going to skip over this bad boy for now and move on to the welcome section. My preference here would be to call this section account options or my account or something like that. And the only actual changes I'm going to make are one, converting the borders to a light gray, and two, switching the icons to blue since these ones are red, and I feel like that balances out the branding colors a bit better since we removed the blue at the top. For all intents and purposes, we didn't really have to change that much. A couple tweaks here, and a few nudges there, and I feel like we've really cleaned things up pretty nicely. All right, enough of the opening act. It's time for the main event, dominoes. Now, I wanna be clear here that I get it. From the normal average person perspective, you're a multi-billion dollar company with higher priorities than sitting around all day worrying about website menus. But from my oddly specific, obsessive compulsive, ill-lit, rarely visited corner of the office perspective, I have some things to say. Number one, your menu is far too narrow. The fact that the sign out text couldn't even be fit onto one line demonstrates this issue. I don't really mind anything going on with this section, it's pretty straightforward, but I still see some opportunities to mix it up a bit. The most problematic section in my eyes is this one here. Everything here is functional, I just think things could be a bit clearer. Again, we've run into the issue of unnecessary use of vertical space due to the narrowness of the overall menu. Something about this font color on this background makes it extraordinarily bright and difficult to read. Let's see if we can help you out. I'm going to begin by expanding the menu to use up more of the available real estate, and I'm going to get rid of the accent background color at the top, but we'll find another place to use it. With that, we can make the greeting a bit larger, and even add your logo in here for some additional branding. There's nothing wrong with a list of items, but I think we have the chance to break things up a little by converting these top four options to icon buttons, and I think this would be a good place to reincorporate your accent color as well. Your tracker is next, which I certainly agree deserves its own page, 
but I think it would be really cool if you could display a snapshot version of it right in the menu. Not a necessary change, but I think it looks nice and it gives us a chance to utilize your red. Two more options. Hmm, language switcher. Seems like it's sort of a standalone item, so I'm just gonna give it an icon and throw it in the corner for now. And profile, not exactly seeing a good spot for it at the moment, so I'll just dismiss the problem altogether by saying the name text is clickable, and we could always make it more obvious by adding an underline or something like that. Okay, let's call this next section like it is. It's a where, a how, and a when. And honestly, I'm feeling like keeping it stupid simple and just renaming each of these sections to exactly that. I don't know that the ordering matters a whole lot, but I figure you'll want to say how you'll get it, when you'll get it, and then where you'll get it. Now, how do I make these sections a bit easier on the eyes? Let's start with where. I'm really feeling a Google Maps style location input, but instead of the location icon, I think it'd be adorable to use a pizza. We certainly could use the same background color for these sections, although that can tend to get a bit monotonous, so how about we opt for a lighter color instead? Maybe instead of having all of the address text be the same size and color, we could style the city, state, and zip as subtext underneath. Your other two sections are just radio buttons, which aren't inherently wrong, they just look a bit basic. I'm gonna go ahead and convert these to icon buttons like we did above, but opt for the lighter background color and we'll use white to indicate the selected one. What's next? Oh, I didn't have time to show this in my short, but I really like the idea of blurring the background around the menu and increasing the scale of the content behind it, resulting in a pretty sweet transition effect. And hey, if you want some more redesign inspiration, I actually just did Quora and Steam not too long ago, so definitely check out those when you get a chance. 